Hi there, this is Patty Bennett. Welcome. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and super excited to share this adorable project with you. This is a really easy Easter basket and I wanted to share this idea with you. I made this with my friend Cindy when I was stamping at her house last week and it is really easy to make and I thought you would probably enjoy seeing how to make it just because it's so simple. It's just a square of cardstock and we are going to use the envelope punch board which I honestly haven't used in a while so I thought you might enjoy it. Now I know I didn't announce I was going to go live so this is very impromptu but I just wanted to get this video done because I had a couple of minutes and I thought why not just get it on there. So it also features this super cute little bunny. This is from the Fable Friends Stampin' Up! stamp set. Stamped on watercolor paper watercolored and then fussy cut with snips and look at these adorable little flowers punched with the I think it's Biddy Blooms is the the little flower punch and then put in her well I was gonna say put it in her hair but I guess I don't know well it's on her head how's that like a little wreath <laughs> and then this is just two toothpicks um, glued together to make some thickness and then you can see here that there are double Stampin dimensionals between those two little layers and that makes a cute little pick to put in there and then you could fill this with the Easter grass and jelly beans or candies or chocolate eggs or whatever your favorites are and then there is some gingham gala paper here and I put a little flower with petals uh, leaves there. So let me show you how to make this. This is going to be a very fast video. I know I didn't announce that I was coming on, but I'm glad that you've joined me. This is going to be super easy, quick, and fun. All you need is a square of cardstock, eight inches square. So for the dimensions that we are going to score today, this needs to be eight inches square. I'm sure there are other ways you could do this, but for this one, it's eight inches square. So here's the envelope punch board. Normally, this is going to make an envelope, but we are going to make this cute little basket. So there's a stylus that fits right here. I just pulled it out, so I have that. Then we're going to look right here where the number two is. That's the two inch mark and line up our paper at the two. And then there's a little notch, if you haven't used this yet, there's a little notch. Do you see that right here? So we're just going to lay the stylus right in that notch. And we are going to score. Now that's going to kind of go off the edge of the board. That's okay. It's going to fix itself. I'll show you how. And we're going to punch. So that punches that notch. You flip it and you repeat this all the way around, all four sides. Doesn't matter if you punch or score first, either way. All right, and then we're gonna flip the paper over, the cardstock over, and we're gonna do the same thing. So that this, I don't know if you can see the score mark in the video, but this now is lining up with that previous one that I scored. So that's how it's going to be able to make that score line all the way through. Now if you're just joining me, we are making this cute little Easter basket and we started with an eight inch square of cardstock. It can be any color. I did a couple of them in lemon lime twist and then this one is in balmy blue. So now we have kind of this X of, you know, two lines this way, two lines this way. And then we're going to slide this over so that that score mark that's right here is lining up with this little peg. And we are going to score across there so that it makes like that little triangle. And then on the opposite corner, we're going to do the same thing. So we line up our score line with that little peg and we go across. You don't need to do it to all four, just two opposite corners. So now on the 
two that you did not make that extra score, you just take snips and you cut up to there, up to that first score mark. You could get out your trimmer and do this, but scissors are going to be fine. Then we're going to just crease on our fold lines. And those two little ends. And I should say, when I made this with Cindy, I'm pretty sure that she saw this idea um, from demonstrator Denise Sullivan. And I did look and I couldn't find a video or a tutorial or anything. So that's why I thought, well, I'll just jump on here and we'll make this real quick. Okay, so then that's what your piece looks like. And this is how it's going to fold up into the basket shape just to give you an idea of where we're headed with this. Now, when you bring these flaps up, when you bring these flaps up like that, what we decided looked best was to make this line just be kind of straight horizontal like that. You can do liquid glue, you can do snail, you can do whatever adhesive you like. What I found though that's really super easy is you can just give it a quick staple because that's not going to show. And so that was just really the fastest way to, to do that. So again on the other side, see how we did that? Okay, so now you see how it's kind of taking shape. And then for these two flaps, I am just going to grab some snail. Uh, this flap really isn't, these two flaps really aren't going anywhere, so they don't need a ton of adhesive. They don't need anything super permanent. They just need to, to hold down like that. So then these two are going to come up and fold on the inside. But the score mark is different than if you would have scored like we did here, and that's why we didn't score these. But here's what we found. If you place it like this, and you just take your uh, the bone folder scoring tool that comes with it, or a regular bone folder, and you do that, it's going to give you the perfect little line to fold that over. So that just seemed to be the easiest way to do that. And so then these two are going to tuck in there. And I cut two and a quarter inch square gingham pieces, and those are going to fit just perfectly on those squares. And I did think about trying to make a pattern like to cover that whole thing, and I was like, um, no, maybe not. <laughs> Perhaps someone else would like to do that. <laughs> so we will just put those on the outside and then we're going to seal up those little flaps and I decided to do the contrasting the lemon lime twist on the balmy blue because on this one I did the balmy blue on the lemon lime twist I thought that was pretty cute so then on this one you can just seal that up and if you're worried at all about it um, flipping up, you could grab your tear and tape or a more permanent adhesive. Just for the purpose of quickness of the video, though, we're going to just use the snail. And I think that's going to hold just fine. Now, when you cut your 8-inch square out of the 8.5 by 11, you're going to end up with this half-inch strip from the 8.5 inch side that gets cut to 8. And you can just use this as your handle. If you just give it a little score like that, it helps it to curve. So you can use that as your handle without getting out any other cardstock. On this one that I made with Cindy, you can see that we actually used a longer and wider piece that we cut from another scrap. So either way, it's you know perfectly fine, whatever you'd like. And on this one, we put the handle on the outside and we actually used brads 
These are just the metallic Stampin' Up brads, and there are different sizes in here, so you can punch a hole and use a brad if you'd like. On this one, I tucked the handle to the inside, and I used those cute brads that were in this package, the silver brads, because I thought that looked really springy. So you can do you know, anything you'd like to attach that handle there. But that's really all there is to that cute little basket. And it's really fast and easy. The envelope punch board just makes it super fast. And um, I'm just going to check real quick on here on this live to see if there were any questions. Sorry, I wasn't looking. I get so involved in the project and then I forget to look at the comments or the questions. Thank you for the hearts, everybody. Um, okay, I don't even see any questions. This is just super quick. I thought it would be much easier to show it this way than to try to draw up a tutorial of the shape of this because th this sort of doesn't make much sense when you see this piece. It's like, what? How does that make a basket? But it does. Isn't that fun? So just a few supplies, your envelope punch board, a square of cardstock, brads and a hole punch, maybe a stapler, and your adhesive, and you are done. So voila, I will put, um, oh, Susan, it's just an eight inch square piece of cardstock. That's all it is. That's all we used. And then uh, two and a quarter inch square for these little gingham pieces. So that's all there was to it. Alrighty. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope that was helpful. Oh, this will be on my blog, pattystamps.com, in a couple of days. It's just that I had a minute right now to jump on and do this video, so I wanted to get it done, and then you'll be able to see close-ups and more information in a couple of days. All right. Yes, completely adorable. Yes, thank you. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. I will see you next time. Bye.